Is an online backup a good idea? Hi everyone, Leo Notenboom here for AskLeo.com. Here's a question we got. I keep hearing about online backup services that will back up your data to, quote unquote, the cloud. Assuming it's secure, why shouldn't I do that and skip the hassle of doing backups to an external hard drive or whatever? My position has long been that online backup services can be a useful component of a broader backup strategy, but there are several factors to consider before deciding if an online backup is the right thing to do and how to do it, including security, completeness, speed, and of course, cost. The cloud. Gosh. I think we're all tired of hearing the term. It's a popular buzz phrase these days, and online backup is one of the poster children for the concept. In a nutshell, with connectivity being almost ubiquitous and pretty fast in most cases, why not store important data on servers on the internet in the cloud? By using third-party internet services and servers, you can keep all your email online, Nothing new here, we've been doing that for decades. Your documents online, like Google Docs or Microsoft OneDrive are good examples, and more. The advantage is that all you usually need is a computer and a browser. Not only can you access your documents from just about anywhere, but you can be less concerned about system and software crashes on your own machine. So if the cloud is such a good place for your data, a debatable subject for another day. Is it also a good place for the backups of your data? It's definitely an option if used properly, but there are concerns to consider. An online backup isn't practical for everything. And in this case, I mean literally everything. For example, it could take days or weeks, sometimes months, to upload a complete image backup of your machine simply because of the limited upload speed of your internet and the size of the image. Now, most online backup services ignore your system. They back up only your data. And even then, you need to be really careful to ensure they're backing up what you think they are. For example, if you keep your data outside of the default documents folder, as I do, you may have to take some extra steps to tell the service to back up that other location as well. The implication is simple. If you have a major system failure and lose everything, your online backup won't help you restore your machine. It'll restore your data after you've rebuilt your machine, reinstalled the operating system in the applications. It might be a very valid choice, don't get me wrong, but it's a choice you need to be aware of. An online backup requires being online. I know it sounds obvious, but it's one of those things where it's easy to actually overlook. If, for example, you have a lot of data, say a day's worth of active photography, the data is gonna take some time to upload and be backed up. If you turn your computer off at the end of the day and that backup hasn't completed, well, those missing files aren't yet backed up. They may automatically resume when the machine is turned back on the next day, but until then, if anything happens to that machine or its hard disk, you risk losing the files. This is also a common scenario in traveling, where connectivity is sometimes limited or slow. It's easy, particularly with photos, to accumulate data faster than you can back it up. An online backup is online. It's in the cloud. I know that's kind of the point, right? Accessible from anywhere, from any computer. The risk here is the same risk you run when using any online service. If someone steals your account information, they have access to whatever you've stored in the cloud. If you've been backing things up online and somehow your backup account is compromised, that attacker could have access to everything there. The good news is that this is something that's usually within your control to a large degree. It goes back to the basics of online account management and safety. 
Use good, strong passwords. Don't write them down. Don't use the same password for multiple purposes. Use a password vault. Use two-factor authentication. Don't share with people you don't absolutely trust. Stay safe in Wi-Fi hotspots. Avoid malware and on and on and on, right? You know the list. The trick is, of course, making sure you do the list. An online backup is on someone else's computer. This is actually one of the characterizations of the cloud that I actually like. The cloud is someone else's computer. When you upload a file to a cloud service, it's going to a computer owned by that service, be it Google or Microsoft or a backup service or whatever. It's their computer that you're using to store your data in the cloud. Okay, there are concerns with that sometimes. For example, your data could be exposed should the online backup service be hacked. Your data could be exposed should the online backup service receive a warrant or some other demand from law enforcement that could force them to expose your data. And of course, your data is being exposed to the online service itself, who then might use it for purposes unknown. Depending on where you live, where the online backup service is located and the sensitivity of your data, those can be very valid concerns. As long as you stick with reputable backup services, the technology typically encrypts your backups in such a way that no one but you can actually see it. But if you are still concerned, you can still use someone else's computer, the cloud, securely by taking the extra step of encrypting the data yourself. So, is an online backup a good idea? In my opinion, absolutely. I do it myself, but only as part of a larger, more comprehensive backup strategy. Start with a periodic full image backup of your computer. That way you know everything is backed up. Should your hard drive die, you restore the image to its replacement and you're back. Then consider adding an online backup of your data. Depending on your approach, this could result in what I've referred to as nearly real-time continuous backup of your data. Or it could be an alternative to running your local backup program every day. When something goes wrong from an accidentally deleted file to a destroyed computer or even a destroyed home, you'll know that your data, at least, is safe. I would strongly recommend against using only an online backup service. And to quote one of my earlier articles, the best backup strategy is whatever you'll actually use. So if online is the only one you'll actually use, of course, use it. For updates, for comments, for links related to this topic and more, visit askleo.com slash 20208. I'm Leo Notenboom, and this is askleo.com. Thanks for watching. Thank you.